Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you three different ways you can play VRChat on your Oculus or as they now call it, the MetaQuest 2 headset. For the first method you will only need the headset itself while the other ones require you to have a gaming PC that will actually run the game. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'm going to start with the most common and accessible way which is playing VRChat in Quest 2 standalone mode. In order to get VRChat on your Quest 2 headset, you're going to go to Apps, Search, type in VR, just click on the, click on the link and then it will start installing. And while it installs, I'm going to clarify that this here is basically a tuned down Android version of the original PC game which comes with a couple of limitations. Firstly, there are fewer VRChat worlds available that have been specifically optimized to run on the Quest 2. Secondly, you cannot see most of the custom PC avatars created by other users. The reason again here is that the Quest 2 simply doesn't have enough computing power to display them while running the game smoothly. Lastly, the overall graphics of the games have been tuned down which means fewer shadows, textures, etc. And uh, all of the major drawbacks are also the reason why players generally prefer the PC VR version of VRChat. However, if you don't have a VR capable PC, there simply aren't other options for you. So anyway, now that the game has installed, it should be available in our uh, applications as usual and we can go ahead and open it and I'm seeing the allow permissions dialog now which I'm gonna select allow and the game is indeed loading uh, it also is asking for me to allow recording audio and I'm gonna gonna allow it so a little bit further and now we have a, a bit more further so you could see better uh, and there are two options to log in with either VRChat or Oculus and I'm gonna go ahead and try with Oculus see if that works. Later you can merge the accounts if you want to and should be totally okay. Oh, next. So a couple of announcements, initial downloads and initializing world and I'm probably not gonna show you too much of the gameplay because you know what to expect, but uh, anyway, yeah, here it is. VR chat in Oculus Quest standalone mode. And I think this would be a good point to move on with the next methods. I'm going to start with the most basic setup, which is using Oculus Link to turn your Quest 2 into a PC VR headset. And we're going to then download the VR chat game from Oculus PC games library. Basically what Oculus Link does is you can connect your headset and PC via a USB cable and in that case uh, the PC will do all the hard work and run the actual game while the Quest 2 is used for displaying the game and handle the tracking and controllers. And uh, in order to use Oculus Link you're going to need a VR capable PC. Uh, the official requirements are listed in the table and you're going to need a semi-decent uh, CPU, about 8 gigabytes of RAM and most crucially your PC must have a dedicated uh, GPU. So if your PC meets the minimum requirements you are ad additionally going to need a USB cable to actually connect your headset and PC. And one side of the USB cable must be a USB-C connector which goes to your headset and the other one 
the other end can either be a <coughs> USB-C or USB-A port works as well. And I'm going to mention here that you can actually use the charging cable that the Quest 2 comes with. And even though it's, it's quite short for a pleasant uh, playing experience, you can at least test whether the VR games and VR chat generally works. And you can opt to buy a longer dedicated uh, link cable later if you want to. So let us now move on with the actual installation activities. And the first thing you're going to have to do is go to oculus.com setup. And from here you're going to have to download the Oculus PC software for Quest 2. So simply download and launch the setup file and complete the installation. And I'm going to mention here that during the installation it will uh, download approximately 5 gigabytes uh, of a set of files required for the installation. So if you have a slower internet connection it might take some time. So once you have completed the installation you're going to see the following dialog to add your headset to the software. If you don't for some reason you don't see it uh, go to devices and add headset. So I have a quest 2. I'm going to select this one continue and in this method we are currently using the link cable option so let's select it and now it's the time to uh, connect your headset and PC via the USB cable so I'm going to do it here. Okay, so it seems um, it was able to detect my headset and I'm currently also using the um, charging cable and it warns me that uh, it's preferred if it was a USB free cable but uh, in all honesty it really, it really doesn't matter. You can uh, play with a USB 2 connection very well. So let us head, go ahead and select continue. No, I'm not going to test the connection right now. And yeah, Oculus Link setup is complete. So, yeah. Connected and active. The next step is to power on your headset, which I have already done here. And if during the boot up it prompts you for a file access dialog, you can either select uh, allow or deny, it doesn't matter. Anyway, once you're in the Oculus Home environment, click on the quick settings uh, link and here you should see Oculus link option. So let us click on it. Now we're gonna have to wait a bit while it loads. And now we are in the Oculus PC Home environment. So the next step here would be to go to store and I'm going to click on search and here I'm going to search for VR VR chat. So there's an option here, let's click on it, get um, it warns me that my PC mm, doesn't meet minimum specific specification, but that's actually due to the fact that I have a NVIDIA 3060 GPU and for some reason Oculus hasn't updated their, uh, their requirements. So I know for sure that my PC is capable, so let's, let's select continue. And now all you have to do is wait for the installation to complete. Once the game is finished installing, I'm going to go ahead and start the, start the game. Um, so again, I'm greeted with the uh, login option. I'm going to select uh, Oculus so some initial downloads go
and here you go. The PCVR option of VRChat. The third method for playing VRChat on your Quest 2 headset is very similar to the previous one. Again, you're going to need a VR capable PC uh, or a USB cable to connect your headset uh, and PC. And you're going to need uh, the Oculus uh, PC software installed and the heat headset successfully connected. But uh, this time, instead of uh, installing uh, VRChat from the Oculus library, we are going to install it in Steam. So if you don't have it, you have to download the uh, go to steam.com and install the Steam client. Uh, once you have installed and successfully logged in, you have to download the VR client for Steam, which is called uh, Steam VR. So I have it already installed, but in case you haven't, there should be an install button here. So uh, once Steam VR is installed, we are also going to need to install VRChat. So let's see. I seem to have it installed some time ago, but it actually isn't. So anyway. Here is the install installation dialog and I'm going to go ahead and install. And now we're going to have to wait until it uh, downloads and installs and going to resume the manual. Once VRChat is installed in Steam, it's time to power up the headset again as I have here. And I'm going to select quick settings and uh, launch an Oculus Link session. So let's wait. So now that the uh, Oculus Link session is active, I'm gonna leave it running and place the headset on my forehead. And while I do that, I'm going to launch the VR chat from Steam. So I'm doing that now. I'm gonna select uh, VR chat, and it is asking me whether I want to run it in uh, Steam VR mode or desktop mode. And I'm gonna select Steam VR mode. So I have now done it and it's launching. So, so it's um, running now. And again, it's going to ask me uh, whether I want to um, uh, log in with uh, VRChat or Steam. I'm gonna select Steam. It's asking me to verify my date. I'm gonna select something random. Okay, that should do. Update. Okay, agree. Let's wait. Some initial uh, loading. Uh, okay. Five. P. Two. F. And. And here you go. Again, running VRChat, but this time using using Steam. I deliberately described the last two PC VR methods using the regular wired Oculus Link setup. I did that because it's just so simple to do, and as mentioned, you can use the charging cable that the Quest 2 comes with. However, if you want to explore the full capabilities of the Quest, and also VRChat, my recommendation is to go wireless using Oculus Air Link. Uh, in theory, setting up uh, Oculus Air Link is uh, really, really simple and you can refer to the official Oculus manual. Basically what you have to do is just go to the settings uh, within VR 
and experimental and enable air link. But the thing to uh, keep in mind about uh, air link is that it requires a steady local uh, wireless network connection in order to function stable and without any lag and chat chittering. So there are some guidelines on the Oculus uh, manual page and to help you out further uh, I have actually created a separate article about my Airlink setup. Um, when I initially tested uh, Airlink uh, using my um, ISP router I faced uh, stuttering and lagging problems and I had to purchase a dedicated router. However, uh, this might not be the case for you and uh, in the article I have described uh, some things to look out for and uh, you can test if, if uh, things work out with uh, your current uh, ISP router. However, if that's not the case, I have uh, given you a step-by-step -step manual on uh, how I personally uh, set up uh, my Hailing setup and uh, you can just follow it along and uh, try it out and lastly if you are having any troubles getting VRChat working on your uh, Quest 2 I'm actually currently in the middle of uh, writing a dedicated troubleshooting article for debugging and solving various issues you might bump into so make sure to check out the video description below and see if you can find any help from there Okay, that's it for now and I hope this, uh, this video was useful for you and I'll see you and see you next time. Bye bye.